back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Euro Truck Simulator 2. This is our Let's Play series and today we are up to episode number 10. So if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated. And of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So let's jump straight into today. Episode number 10, what are we doing? Well if we have a quick look at the uh, world map you'll see that we are back here in Cambridge this is where our main truck depot is so what we're going to quickly do is just drive to the depot and uh, see where we are going from there if you remember from the uh, previous episode what we wanted to do was to uh, get back to Cambridge and uh, Expand the business. Oh, we're still tired as well. So let's get uh, out of this yard. Get out as quick as possible. Get back into our yard. So we'll turn uh, left here. To garage door number one. So we'll turn that engine off, hit the enter key that should, and it's not going to let us sleep, which is typical, but not to worry, we don't, we're not really doing too much today. Um, so yeah, this is the actual garage itself, or the garage view. We've got uh, Cambridge, it's classed as a small garage, and we can have at the moment one to three trucks. Or oh, we've got one of three trucks rather. We can have up to three. We've got uh, drivers, again, we can have up to three drivers, and at the moment, daily profit is at 17,801 euros. That's because of what we have been doing. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we are going to get two new trucks today and two new drivers we could upgrade the garage as well and make it to a five truck garage but we're not going to do that just yet we need to get some money in first now to do this i'll we'll have a little look at our trucks the mercedes new actros 625 horsepower that is our one for us for what we are currently using so we want to Let's come back out of that. And here we go. We want to go to the uh, truck dealers just here on the right hand side. So we've discovered a few truck dealers. There's plenty more to discover. Now, the question is what trucks shall we get? Shall we stick with the Mercedes that we're currently using? Or shall our workers have something different? say there's a few truck dealers that we've discovered, a Volvo Scania, another Volvo, the Volvo dealer there, a Renault, Renault, Volvo, Iveco, DAF, MAN. So yeah, the question is which truck dealer should we use? We're certainly not going to get them the same size truck as us. I think uh, I know everybody says that Scania is one of the better makes. So we'll go to the Scania deal. I don't think we can buy online, which means we would need to visit. Yeah, we trusted customers only. That's 
going to be a bit of a nuisance. Feature for trucks. So yeah, we're going to need to uh, actually travel to a dealer as well. There's one here in London. So I think that's going to be our next job is to get to London because we need to discover which truck dealer that is. I'm not going to let us buy online. So we're going to have to let's uh, get back to driving. So we head on out. What we're going to do is need somewhere to sleep a bit quick. I thought you could actually sleep in the yards themselves. I don't, obviously not. So we'll head to this uh, sleeping point here, this mechanic. Get some sleep. And then we can, of course, uh, crack on with today. So the idea is to get down to London, check out the dealer. There we go. Shut the engine off and hit that sleep button. And there we go. Engine off. We are going to head off down to London now. Although, yeah, I'm just thinking, is it worth us trying to get a job down there to make it worth our while going as well? So yeah, I think we'll do that. Let's uh, have a look at the job market. Freight market there. I'm sure there was one for London. Cambridge to Cambridge. Cambridge to Dover. Yeah, I think that one's just gone, unfortunately. That's typical. Gone to Cambridge to Dover. We'll go via London as well. So we'll take that one. Let's uh, head on out. Get some lights on before we get ourselves into trouble. Sharp there. So a bit off to the left. I believe it's this one just here. for the GPS going to Dover. There's two going down to Dover actually. So it doesn't matter which one we take. Change it up, change the uh, actual wagon up as well we could. So we'll take the uh, curtain cider the uh, SDC trailer. That's uh, empty pallets, 22 tonnes of empty pallets, 6,600 euros. So we're going to take that job there. I thought we'd just change the. Uh... Did we not just change the? type of trailer there. I'm sure we did. <coughs> but not to worry, not to worry. Oops. Get that uh, trailer 
coupled up. So, before we get uh, too carried away, pop that handbrake on. We're going to uh, quickly do our photo for today, which of course is going to be our screenshot. Somewhere there. There we go. So that's our screenshot for today. Oh, and we also wanted to go uh, via London, we said, didn't we? To go via that dealer. So here is London. So if we say coming on this road just here and then also stop on this road uh, yeah I see what's happening there must be a bridge or something just there that's why it took us around that way so what if we let's uh, Take that off, take that off. What if we stop at this one first? No, I don't think it matters. So if I say we're going that road. Well, if we come in on that one, it'll be one that we've not already discovered. Oh yeah, it takes us past both anyway. So we'll do that, and then that will bring us back out of London and then back down towards Dover. So let's uh, go for it. Handbrake off, off we go. Today, episode uh, number 10. What we're going to be doing is we'll take this job down to Dover, we could travel via London and uh, explore those truck dealers. <coughs> Takes too long, it's not uh, like it's halfway across Europe for today. Do need to be careful, however, there are speed cameras. Try not to slow too much. We are, of course, back with uh, our steering wheel today after a couple of episodes of not having it. rather handy as the uh, keyboard steering can be quite difficult sometimes although we don't do too bad Episode number 10, we are uh, of course looking at getting some more special cargo missions done at some point. Take the slip 
road up onto the uh, M11, I believe it is. Hopefully, we can avoid uh, any penalties today, speeding tickets, and crashes, and things like that. Be quite annoying. We are, of course, uh, 10 to 5 in the morning, so traffic should be quite light. good thing is because we're in England we can now get the speed up to uh, 60 miles an hour we're only doing roughly about 56 each time seems to be slowing right down let's build that speed up there we go get that cruise control working Yeah, well, like I say, down to Dover today. Head via London to explore those uh, two question marks. I believe one's a truck dealer and one is going to be a job agency. So we can uh, get both of those explored. We'll then quickly finish off the job. off the job to Dover and get paid for that before that becomes late. And we will come back via London once again. And we can purchase a couple of trucks, hire a couple of drivers. may need to obviously uh, take a bank loan out to do that, but uh, not to worry, as once you've got people working for you, uh, you're obviously getting money coming in, and uh, it soon pays it back, plus we will be doing our jobs as well. actually be going out we can stay in this lane and so we are turning straight off like I said I think we're down to London already actually we are indeed so we'll slow that down a bit for the hill It's a road that flows round. Coming into London, it's a 30 mile an hour limit. So, of course, by doing this now, what we're doing is, uh, like I say, exploring a couple of extra roads that we maybe wouldn't have explored today. Change your lane, 
think so. I think we're turning right at the bottom. And it just down there, I believe it is. It's going to be a truck dealer. It's not going to recognise that we've found it from here. Which uh, is pretty disappointing. Roundabout, we are turning right. Head straight out. So here is the a uh, of a hotel there. Looks like the recruitment agencies around the back as well, so we'd have to go back round that way on the way back. Whoa! Idiot! Dear oh dear. There is some idiots out there. Turning left at the lights. Dover. So I think what we'll do, obviously we don't want to make a episode too long today, so we'll do this job to Dover. Speeding a bit now. Yeah, we'll do this job down to Dover, we'll drive back to uh, London for uh, purchasing the trucks, we'll get those done today and then we'll head back to Cambridge uh, maybe in the next episode and uh, get the drivers hired and set up and start working. Like I say, all depending on uh, how long it takes us just to get to Dover. take us too long, it's not uh, that far. Obviously time in game is moving a lot quicker than what uh, it would. Obviously speeding once again, not good. Must have been a camera on the side I didn't see. Well, like I say, it's always nice to uh, explore some different roads. I think uh, what we might do with a few jobs in the next uh, couple of episodes is actually plan the route ourselves. To plan the roads where we have not been. bits and pieces done and explored so we're staying in the middle lane here we're going uh, straight over this junction and network Two. I think that's 
speed up 55 miles an hour now. Most uh, trucks are limited to sort of 56 miles an hour anyway. Now you can uh, remove those limiters. Maybe what we could also do is get another job going from uh, Dover back to London with a bit of luck. we do. But yeah, like we say, today, episode number 10, we are looking at getting a few extra little jobs done, hopefully over this weekend, to uh, start exploring the series, expanding the series rather. <coughs> seven in the morning. As you can see traffic's starting to get a bit heavier. Starting to get a bit of a build up, everybody rushing off to work, etc. into another road that we've not explored so that's interesting to know on to the A2 just on the M2 we're now on the A2 and it looks like we've not actually discovered Dover I'm sure we have at some point so this is uh, another bit of exploration uh, journey today. Slow the right down, Dover discovered, yeah. So of course the idea is to uh, explore as many cities as you can, discover as much of the road network as you can. I think uh, we are on something quite ridiculous like just 12% of the roads discovered discovered. So yeah, into Dover. Like I say, traffic's getting a lot heavier now. Queue of traffic. Looks like we're going to discover a couple of bits down here as well. There's a question mark up there on the uh, on the map uh, on the right hand side. I don't know if we'll discover that as we get up there. So yeah making some progress with this uh, series so far turn your left here then so 
Yeah, like I said, we have got empty pallets on. Nice, simple job for today. So London is off to the left there, so I think we might take uh, that road on the way back. I'll explore us another road. On the left, so get the left signal on. Pull in. We'll have a word with the uh, security guard or gatekeeper, receptionist, whatever you'd like to call them, and just uh, see where they want us to park it. We'll keep them relatively simple at the moment. So over there on the left, nice helicopter there. Of the uh, heavy haulage package, I believe it is. Like so we keep it nice and simple. There we go. So we'll offload that trailer. And that is. Uh, that one done, so 5,869 euros we got from that job there. Obviously lost a little bit of money for uh, that speeding ticket we had. So what we're going to do, we'll have a quick look at the job market. We're going to see if there is anything in Dover heading back to London. Uh, the nearest one is Southampton. So what we're going to do is uh, come out of there and we're just going to drive get that handbrake off so yeah we're just going to drive back to London ourselves I'm not going to take anything with us which sometimes is a bit of a waste but uh, there's not really a lot we can do about it creep up to those lights slowly there we go so yeah we came in from the left there but we're going to go straight on here take a different road out Speed. Up the hills. Get ourselves back to London as quick as possible. Discover that truck dealer. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure which uh, truck dealer it's going to be. Whichever it is, that is going to be the uh, truck for uh, our worker. Not sh entirely sure if we should get uh, two trucks today or get uh, just the one, depending on uh, the truck itself. here. So yeah, we're back on a road that we've just come in on, but uh, just explored another road. So edge out nice and slowly. Hopefully somebody's going to uh, stop and let us across. He's eased up nice. Let's go, I think. No, yep, yeah, let's go. 
Yeah, it looks like it. There we go, we're out. Trouble with junctions like that, you've got to uh, sort of push yourself a little bit. And just hope somebody's going to be kind enough to let you out, otherwise, you'll be sat there all day. Oops, all over the road now, look. So, yeah, like I said, back to London, discover that truck dealer. And then, of course, we can purchase a worker's truck. The good of thing is we've not got to drive the truck at all, so uh, it doesn't particularly matter which truck it is. As long as it is a truck, it works. That is the uh, main thing. Said it shouldn't be uh, too long, long a job. I was hoping it was going to be uh, as simple as just buying online with uh, a Cambridge, you know, garage there. But uh, we're obviously not a regular purchaser purchaser of trucks just yet. So they uh, say that we're not test uh, trusted enough. To the M2, you've got the main uh, bridge here on the left. There, you've got the uh, Euro Euro Tunnel uh, track goes from uh, London to Paris, I believe. I'm sure you can all drop in the comment section station names as well. Of course, we've got no uh, uh, sat nav working. Obviously, hey, come on, crashing into me. I was well signalling to get in that lane. Yeah, we've got no sat nav on, so it's not telling us, of course, which lane to be in. So we are doing this by road signs at the moment, looking at above on the blue boards. Experience points for driving 62 miles in a free roam. It's because we're not actually got any jobs on at the moment. Of course, you're still getting the uh, experience for driving, which is always nice. Pick out 
speed up a bit. I know we're speeding again, but uh, we want to crack on. Not entirely sure why it's a 30 zone there anyway. So we're turning right into London once again. Of course, we've got uh, some heavy traffic here. Too much hassle. Tesco tanker not going to let us through. Another speed camera there on the left. Avoid that one. <coughs> everywhere again. What? Oh, come on. finished. Come on, what we're we doing? Rolling backwards there. So let's say here we are in London. We'll turn left here. So yeah, here we've got a driver agency. dealer. Whoa, come on. So yeah, going to be a Volvo dealer. So our trucks, or our two workers in Cambridge are both going to have Volvo trucks. Question is, which uh, trucks are they going to have? So we've got uh, a Volvo FH16, classic sleeper chassis, FH sleeper, got the very familiar FH16 classic globe trotter, certainly don't like the colour, another globe trotter there. what we're all more used to seeing, the XL. I think, yeah, that is the bigger heavy haulage type truck. So I think it's going to have to be a globe trotter, as that's what we're all familiar with. We've got the uh, classic globe trotter there. That's the uh, 4x2. The slightly bigger six by two quarter, two slash four, two quarter is that? Yeah, so let's uh, think it's got to be that one. I think we need to definitely change the colours though. So let's uh, customise the truck. itself. So I can put the XL on. Okay, 
So that's that. Can we not change the colour? I'm sure we can. We can change the chassis itself. Obviously giving it more power, but uh, torque, etc. We can change the type of engine if we want, again, more power in there. Don't want to give it a massive 750 horsepower because that would well exceed ours, I believe. So we'll leave it as the standard one for now. Transmission again, we can increase, well, obviously, gives it more power. We don't want to mess about too much. <clears throat> Here we go, on to colours. So, do we want to keep a simple color system or do we want something a bit more we want to be able to identify them if we do see them around wow well, that's a color so we've got a few different options there we could stick to the same color scheme as us Course, uh, no, I don't think we want to stick to the same colours because So we'll stick to the Black Knight, I think, for colour scheme at the moment. We'll keep, like I say, we want to keep these trucks relatively simple. It's going to cost us uh, 127,000 euros for each truck that we buy, and we're going to be purchasing two of these today. Yeah, it's going to be purchase that truck. Do you want to drive your new truck? No, we don't. Where do we want it? We want it delivered to uh, Cambridge. So that our new truck, the F uh, FH16 Classic Globe Trotter, is off to Cambridge. So click OK. Thank you for purchasing, we'll deliver your newly bought truck to your garage in Cambridge immediately. So there we go. So whilst we're here, we are going to of course purchase a second one. In fact, uh, we're not because we've not got the money now. It's 127, we've only got £86,000. So I think we need to just secure a loan, so yes we do want to do that. We're going to hit the escape key and we're going to just quickly speak to the bank. Pick up ourselves another £100,000 loan, 35 days to pay, interest rate is 18%, it's quite expensive, daily instalments of nearly three thousand euros yes we want to continue so that gives us a bit of money come out of there back into the truck dealer and we want to uh, customize our truck once again we didn't change anything i don't believe we just changed the uh, color and those changes the list price is 142,000 pounds now so what did we change last time we didn't change the cab we didn't change the chassis how can the price of it go up or did we select a basic engine
How can the price go up? changed anything I don't believe but there we go 127,000 pounds once again so we're going to purchase that no we don't want to drive the truck it can go to Cambridge and there we go so that is yes we now want to leave the dealer so that is uh, uh, the trucks bought from Volvo so what we are going to do next is uh, in fact if we just quickly shut the engine off there head on to uh, our screen I believe we can actually go to the recruitment agency next I think that we could do online one here in London want to hire a driver and here we go we have various people in all the ratings are relatively low and that looks the best at the moment so yeah the uh, figures are quite low down so Christian I he's got three points here which are rather interesting so I think he's going to be one that we are going to hire straight away he's got 2.5 driver rating which is quite low but uh, he wants 366 pounds or euros per delivery plus 1681 euros per mile so uh, yeah have to hire him. He's off to Cambridge and he can jump into the first truck. Your driver will arrive shortly after they get settled. They will start working automatically providing they have a truck to drive. <clears throat> so that's that and I think in the interest of uh, quality we are going to Hire Katrina B, who's a 1.7 rating. She's got two points here and a point over on Eco. So we shall hire her as well. She can head off to Cambridge and straight into the second slot there. So that is us uh, done now. If we go to uh, Company Manager, look at the garage. Cambridge there and as you can see everybody is now listed as being in Cambridge including us so that is uh, like I say going to be it for today it's been nearly an hour long episode already which I can't believe how long it has took but uh, if you have enjoyed today's video remember to drop us a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new of course but like I say that's going to be it thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next episode bye for now <laughs>